This is the December 14th, 2012 edition of Inside Rensselaer, about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Nanophotonics expert Shan Yu Lin has been selected as a fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. The association cites Lin for pioneering and developing photonic crystals. Nonlinear analysis expert Joyce McLaughlin has been named an inaugural fellow of the American Mathematical Society. The AMS recognized Laughlin for her distinguished contributions to the creation, exposition, advancement, communication, and utilization of mathematics. Last month, President Shirley Ann Jackson participated in the U.S. Council on Competitiveness inaugural National Competitiveness Forum in Washington, D.C. The NCF assembled top American leaders from industry, government, labor, and academia to assess the state of American competitiveness and offer policy recommendations for the President and the Congress. Rensselaer will host a holiday concert featuring the Rensselaer Orchestra, the Rensselaer Concert Choir, and a festival chorus on Sunday, December 16th at 3 p.m. at the Experimental Media and Performing Arts Center. Rensselaer has received a five-year, $499,000 grant from the Henry Luce Foundation to establish the Claire Booth Luce Assistant Professorship in Computer Science. The grant will be used to hire a female assistant professor with a research and teaching focus in the field of mobile and distributed computing systems. Antibodies developed by researchers at Rensselaer are unusually effective at preventing the formation of toxic protein particles linked to Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, as well as type 2 diabetes, according to a new study. The research represents a new way of generating therapeutic antibodies. And a new study from engineering researchers shows, for the first time, how the little understood protein osteocalcin plays a significant role in the strength of our bones. These findings could lead to new strategies and therapeutics for fighting osteoporosis and lowering the risk of bone fracture. Engineering students James Presley and Chris Volk are among just 20 undergraduates nationwide to be awarded 2012 NASA Aeronautics Scholarships. As such, they will receive two years of education-related financial support plus a paid summer internship at a NASA research center. Rensselaer's fall athletic teams turned in another stellar season, and a number of those teams' student-athletes were honored with year-end awards by the Liberty League. 39 players from the engineers' football, men's soccer and women's soccer, field hockey, men's and women's cross-country teams, and men's golf team earned all-league honors, including 18 first-team selections. From earthquake protection to health monitoring, from vehicle collision prevention and helping innovators to network, Rensselaer students combine their knowledge, imagination, and effort to develop winning ideas in the Office of Entrepreneurship's semi-annual Change the World Challenge. And to assist communities and residents impacted by Hurricane Sandy, earlier this month, Rensselaer hosted a live telethon event to raise funds to help victims, featuring a host of students, staff, and faculty performances. All proceeds will be donated to the American Red Cross. That's it for this edition. For more on these stories and others, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.